Okay, so you play around long enough with uh, these uh, settings here on the layers uh, and uh, the blending options. You should be able to make uh, the text colors the way you want it to look like. Now let's go back to Flash and let's look at their example here. If we pay attention to what's happening, if I hide the outline layer, notice how the outline layer is actually an, an inner outline. So here if I, if I hide and show it, it's the inner, inner layer that's being toggled on and off. So let me hide the uh, logo layer. The logo layer itself is just the whole thing, including all the outer glow and all that stuff. But the but the uh, outline layer is just the inside part, and it's a soft gray line. So if I show both and I toggle the uh, inner layer, that's the one we're trying to go after. So how do we do that? How do we create that outline outline layer? Let's go to Photoshop. So assuming that you play around and you have things the way you want it, I recommend you go file, save for web, and let's uh, save it as logo. So let's just save it as logo to our desktop, click on OK. And now the challenge is to get the inner, um, an inner glow uh, starting uh, with uh, these letters here. So how do we do that? Well, let's try uh, to remove all the special effects first of all. So double click it and let's uh, unclick all these little check boxes. So now we have a uh, simple white uh, text. Uh, you might want to show that background color so that we can see what we're doing. Click on the double click the other layer and do the same if you have uh, two pieces of text like I do. But of course, you might just have one word as well click on OK and now we press um, control click on uh, this layer as well as if I press control click on the other layer we're only selecting one of these words so if you're like me where you have two two lines of words you might want to try holding down control and shift and then click the other one so holding down control shift the whole time and then you should be able to select multiple things now what I want to do is I want to uh, inverse this, go to select, inverse the selection. So now we're selecting everything but the words. And now we can actually go to select, uh, modify, expand and by two pixels. Click OK. And notice how uh, so we're selecting the outside parts of the letters now. So if I go to edit, uh, copy, uh, let me just uh, hide this layer here, uh, the background layer, I'll just go edit, copy, merge, just make sure I got all the layers that I want. And then just go File New, uh, File New, and make sure you choose a transparent background. Click on OK, let's go edit, paste, or Control V. Now we actually have uh, the nice uh, white kind of inner outline. So let's go File, Save for Web, and let's save it and let's call this, what did they call it before? They called it outline. So I'll go here and I'll call this outline. Save it as a PNG 24 and click on OK. Let's go to flash and now on the uh, logo layer, this one here, you need to make sure these are unlocked, right? On the logo layer I'm going to press delete and I'm going to go file import to stage and I'll import my own logo so rather than theirs so I will replace existing items so we have a nice logo here it looks pretty good now the outline layer I'm gonna delete this one here click on delete this keyframe and I wanna use my own so let me just go to this uh, logo layer move it down just a little bit ah that's good enough let's go to the outline layer go to file import and let's import to stage and look for the letter O this thing called outline. So I'm going to replace it because I've done this before and I'm going to just click on this keyframe and now I should be able to use uh, press control plus to zoom in by the way. I should be able to kind of center this nicely. Looks good. So this looks uh, really nice. I'm on the outline layer and what I'm going to do here is uh, uh, I'm going to if you click on the outline layer you can see there's only a couple of properties available for bitmaps so to have more power I'm gonna right click so I'm, I'm still on the outline layer by the way convert to symbol and I will just click on OK this is a movie clip 
So now that this outline layer is a movie clip, if I click on it, you go to properties, you know, you're going to call this outline. That's uh, what it was before. We just, uh, uh, just working with what we have, the nice example that we were given. Notice how movie clips have filters. So the filters has this ability to click on this little plus, this um, little uh, add filter option, and we're going to choose blur. And the blur setting of 2 I think is more reasonable than 5. So click on this number here, type in 2, press tab, and that looks pretty good. And let's uh, collapse this. I think we're ready to press control enter. So press control uh, enter. And there we go, we have a beautiful shine effect. If you don't like the way that uh, uh, this uh, location of this little yellow shine is, we can move it. We'll move it right now, but that last blur effect allows this gradient to be more smooth and softer. If without the blur effect, it's going to look kind of too stiff. So let's uh, take a look at uh, this uh, shine layer. Right now, this, shi uh, this uh, shine layer is moving nicely. If you scroll through the timeline, let's try to see where what else is happening here. Let me just scrub, click on the top here, scrub through this, and uh, I'm going to try to find out where this nice uh, effect is. And so right here, this is the shine layer that's doing it. You can see there's a yellow thing going pow, 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 pow. So here, if you actually click on the keyframes, uh, I'm sure we can move it. So if we click on... Um, if you click on this uh, keyframe here, we can use your arrow keys to move it. So what if you wanted it here on this corner? And then click on this keyframe. It's getting bigger and it's getting smaller. So it looks like once you move this uh, motion object, it's it's already taken care of and it's it's very nice and easy to move this uh, uh, object. So you can see everything's working very nicely. So press Control Enter and showing looks pretty good. All right, this is beautiful. Congratulations, and you should be able to uh, take it to the next level. And uh, this is uh, great. We have a shinier new world.